All right. I'm upset about the Orlando shooting because it hits home a lot for me. I have a lot of friends that are LGBTA and I also have friends that are Muslim. So both sides of this hate crime is terrible to me. But I know, I'm going to start off and say I know one thing, that Muslims are not terrorists. They are not violent. So comparing them to all these terrorists is astounding, really. It's just really crazy. But yeah, I get it. People follow their fear. Okay, so if there's something people don't understand, they are going to fear it, and sometimes they use that fear in a bad way. Now, this could have happened to anyone. The shooter could have been anyone. Homophobia is something pretty everyone has or has been through and it can be from anyone doesn't matter uh, gender or religion or what kind of background I think it's something you grow up with it's like racism um, people are just grown up with it because there's a huge part of time where it was just kind of normal to be segregated and that's kind of what LGBTA is going through right now they're segregated from the world because now it's not because of the color of their skin. It's because of who they like. And it's kind of asinine. But my thing is I have a lot of friends that are in that community. And it is terrifying to see that happen and compare it to the people I know. And every day you see all these articles, these nonstop articles about the shooting, and it hurts. People have been killed. People have been maimed. And this is called the largest shoot mass shooting in America. We have a lot of mass shootings, so I kind of hard, hard to believe that this is the worst one. I know it's the probably the first massive hate crime, at least. Um, <clears throat> I want to know. We have all these articles showing. I want to know what is the LGBTQ plus doing about this? How do they feel? How do the closeted people feel? I uh, don't know, but I think someone that's trying to hide the fact would be pretty scared right now and probably would never come out of the closet. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people that are open will go and hide again. Um, with all the shootings, it's because of race, because of sexuality, because of religion, we're trying to get rid of everything that makes people different, and that needs to stop. We need to have better control over guns and weapons. We need to have better control over ourselves, about how we see people, how we react to things, I guess. But one thing we need to do is what some people need to do, is to own up to when they were wrong. Um, I think the shooter was killed. I'm not sure. I only saw about one article about him. But his dad said, he stood up and said that it was not about his religion. It was because he saw a gay couple kiss 
a couple months ago and he got so mad he decided to blow up a a club that's not normal and hopefully he was showing some kind of signs like maybe if somebody paid attention he would have been probably in a mental institute by now if somebody paid attention probably not because I don't know these heterosexual things can get pretty crazy and it's just normal for them it's not normal it shouldn't be normal I have a lot of things I would like to say about this and I just can't get the words out this is like the second time I tried maybe I don't know if I wrote everything down I could try again but until then this is very hard to do and I don't see how all these people can actually stand up and say this is what the problem is and this is what my solution is and I don't know, maybe it's public speaking, I have fear of that, but it's hard to deal with this. No one should be scared to leave their house. No one should be scared to be who they are. That's all I can say for now.